Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Today I wanna to share with you a small piece of terminal tackle equipment that I think you may wanna check out. Uh, this is a small piece that you can use on almost any bait out there to change the presentation. This can take standard lures and give them an entirely different use. And that excites me because I loved to be able to change up my equipment. I love to be able to present baits that generally are only used in one or two different manners and give them a whole different look so I can present them to fish that haven't seen the bait used in that style. So I wanna go over this with you because I think it's relatively new. The, the idea behind it is not relatively new. We've been doing things like this for quite some time, but I have yet to find one that I feel very confident in that that worked well until now and i've been using this for the past six months with some really good success so i want to share it with you guys to one find out if you're using it how you're using it because i can't stop finding different ways to use this and two if you haven't used it i think it might be worth checking out so we're going to get into that but first guys i want to remind you i'm doing one-on-one -on -one virtual lessons with fishthemoment.com they're one hour long zoom calls where we'll break down whatever it is that you want to do. If you want to look at a lake map together, if you want to talk different techniques, if you want to talk different baits, uh, check that out. The link is in the video description. Also, if you want to support the channel, please use my Tackle Warehouse affiliate link. It's a great way to show your support for the channel. And you can get this technique right at Tackle Warehouse. So I'll put the link up in the video description so you can check them out for yourself. All right, guys. So specifically, this for me goes back years now. I remember fishing at Lewis Smith Lake years ago. I can't even tell you, five, six, seven years ago, and I ran into a guy that was catching a lot of fish that was making uh, small discs that he was putting in front of the bait to give his bait, to give his flukes uh, specifically, some additional motion. And, you know, I talked with him, he showed it to me, and it was one of those things where I tried it and I just couldn't, I couldn't come up with anything that worked really well. There was a lot of differences in, in the ones that I was making and I was just literally cutting discs out of some plastic. He was using milk gallon jugs and it just seemed like there was a lot of tinkering around to get something that wasn't working right. A lot of times it would create spin in my line and it just was a hassle. Well several months ago I saw that decoy came out with what they call the cup rig and I know I've been talking about decoy a lot, but they really make a lot of terminal pieces of equipment that I've been very impressed with. And this was just something I stumbled upon. So it's just a plastic disc that you can put in front of your baits. It's, it's, it feels very much like a, uh, like, a, like a frog body almost. You know, it's, got, it's very pliable. So it's very soft, so it doesn't interfere with your hookups and it returns back to its shape, which is one of the keys. Because, you know, in my opinion, this, this is very much like a scrounger head. The problem I always have with the scrounger heads is that they, they're very flexible and they don't return back to shape. And once they're bent out of shape, they don't run right. So they're a pain in the butt. But this I have found to work very similar to a scrounger head, but you can apply it in so many different manners. So in this case, you can see I've just, taken the disc and they come they have several different sizes this is the large they have a medium size i think they've got a small size <clears throat> so this is the disc all you do is slide that disc you take in this case you take your hook point and you slide it right through there's a tiny little hole that's already pre-made for you and you just pop it through and you slide it up to wherever you want it you know i put that one on backwards let me change that around. And that's one other thing I like about this. You can take them off and put them on and you're not gonna, you're not gonna have issues with it coming off in the future. Like you can use these multiple times. <clears throat> so you have it like that. So if you wanna use it weightless, you can use it weightless. And if like in this case, I've got a fluke here just with a Texas rig so you can see it. It almost allows me to work the fluke like a crankbait because as I'm reeling it and it's on the bottom, it's going like this. And I'll show you guys videos of this. If I want to rig it weightless, it'll almost become a, a fluke that's got much more motion. But here's the thing. You don't have to be using a fluke. I'm just using a fluke as an example. Let's say you like to flip a craw style bait. You can throw your craw like a pit boss. You can throw it on there and get a lot more motion out of the pit boss. So if you want to throw this and retrieve it slowly with a half ounce head on the bottom, 
like you would maybe a wobble head, you can do it, but you're going to get side to side motion out of it. That's the cool part about it. You get that crankbait appearance. You get the same appearance you'd get out of like your, uh, their scrounger heads. But in this case, it holds up that much better. So if you want to take a weightless fluke or a weightless, a weightless bait, you can do that and you can get a lot of motion out of it. You can bring it up to the surface and work it as a uh, as like a, a wake bait. There's just so many different things you can do with it. You could take a swim bait head and slide it up the swim bait head to turn your bait almost exactly into a scrounger. It's a very versatile little piece of equipment. <clears throat> and, and the things that I like the most about it is that it retains its shape better than anything else I've seen. The fact that I can take it on and off and reuse it is a huge factor for me. And it just seems to give the bait a lot of motion. And one of the biggest concerns I've had with trying things like this in the past is you get a lot of line, uh, line twist because the bait tends to spin. This does not do that. It runs so much better. And I think it has to do with the fact that, you know, it's already got the pre-drilled hole and it's, you know, exactly where the center of it is, uh, I think is the big part. But it's also just because it retains its shape so much better than other objects. Like I have yet... You know, I, I'll squish it down and it comes right back and forms back into the position that it needs to be in. So I think you guys might want to check it out. Let's go down to the water and I'll show you some of the motion. I'll show you what it looks like with a uh, Texas rig. I'll show you what it looks like weightless just so you can get an idea of how it runs. So I've got a half ounce bullet weight on this Texas rig with the fluke. As you can see, it gives a, a unique presentation to the fluke. I'm able to use it much more like a scrounger, much more like a crankbait. It just gives it a very erratic motion. You get a lot of stop and go, you get a lot of straight wiggle, you get a little side to side action. Sometimes it rises higher up in the water, sometimes it goes dives to the bottom. It changes it up quite a bit, and it gives me the ability to fish a fluke or other soft plastics in a unique manner. And I really like that about this presentation and keep in mind this is a half ounce weight so it's relatively heavy if you wanted to go with say a quarter ounce weight you'd probably get more side to side motion this is also the small cup that i've got on this so if you want more wiggle motion you go with the larger cup now here i've got a weightless fluke with the large cup and in this case this bait really goes side to side has a lot of very erratic motion where it, it'll dart to one side pull back in line go high in the water, go low in the water. But the one thing I want to point out is it's not spinning. It does not spin, and therefore I'm not getting line twists from it. If I wanted to retrieve this bait a little bit faster, what I'll get is a much more erratic motion where that tail whips back and forth. If I wanted to create less wiggle motion, I could throw on the smaller size cup and just burn it back to the boat, almost as if you were using a wobble head or just a straight uh, jerkbait style bait. The key here is I'm able to give a lot of different presentations to this single fluke, which has normally been considered just a weightless bait. But I don't want you just to think you got to use a fluke. You can throw any plastics that you want. You don't even have to throw a plastic to be able to use this cup. You can apply it to a lot of different things. And I've got some ideas that I want to show you guys in the future. There you have it. You got to give this cup rig a try. It will give your baits an entirely different presentation. It's a lot of fun to play with. And I'll tell you, the strikes you get on it are pretty amazing. Uh, the Cup Rig by Decoy. Guys, I want to know, what do you use the cup for? Do you have different lures that you think it works really well with? Are there things you don't like about it? I'd love to know because I'm still in the experimental phase, but I truly am enjoying playing with this. And I've got some good ideas, too, that I want to share with you. So if you enjoyed the video, guys, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned. We'll have a new video coming out tomorrow.